Guys, 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 guys. It's happening. We're gonna make our own blockchain from scratch. And in this video, I'm only gonna use the dear, beautiful whim. That might be the dumbest choice I've ever made, but no, it's not. It's not. It's really smart. It might be dumb because I don't really... I'm not really fast with it. Okay, guys. Some of you have asked, how do we quit Wim? It's just press colon, Q, exclamation mark, and press enter. Congratulations, you just, you just quitted Wim. Wait, something's... Stay there. Let's go, baby. First of all, we need to search blockchain because I don't know the first thing about blockchain. Blockchain. So, this is a blockchain. Previous hash, timestamp, nonce. I don't know what that nonce is. That's nonce. Since nonce, nonce, nonsense. <laughs> Let's talk about blockchain. This is Dwayne the Block Johnson. Do not mistake him with the rock because it makes him really, really angry. What did you just say? N nothing, nothing. Everything's all right, Mr. Rock. I mean, I mean, Mr. Block, Mr. Block, Mr. Block. If you ever call me rock again, I'm gonna run this chain through your throat and pull it out of your ass. Is that clear? 100% clear, Mr. Block. As I was saying, <laughs> Mr. Block is really big on integrity and identity. He has some ways to detect real blocks from fake ones. Let's say I step into this world. I grab a block hat and put it on my head. And I'm thinking nobody's gonna notice that I'm a fake. But Mr. Block is gonna notice on sight. And he's gonna do unspeakable things to me. I'm not gonna explain. But the question is how does he know? by using a technique called hashing. This is Mr. Harry Farter. HF also stands for hashing function. HF has a magic wand that turns things into other things. For example, it turns a one into a nine. But the thing is, if it turns one into nine once, it always, always turns any one into nine and nothing else. And if it turns, let's say, 69 to 420, it always, always turns any 69 to a 420. Why are you laughing? Another thing is that if we want to make a 100 out of this, we don't know what to start with to turn it into a 100. Because hashing is irreversible. Each block has a hashing function in it. How did you not see that before? It's always had it. A block also has a name, a number, and a random value. A block also has a dad with a number and a random value. Each block also has a hash. Look at the dad's hash. But what is gonna be the new block's hash? Well, we add the random value of the new guy to the random value of his dad. Then we concatenate the hash of its dad at the end of this, and we turn it into binary, and we hash it up. This way, the identity of the new guy is based on his own identity plus his dad's identity. So the blocks are chained together. And again, because the hash value of the new guy is based on his dad's hash and his own identity, you can actually look at his face and see if he's an actual descendant of the first and the original block. Okay, I think the best way to start would be to start with a hashing library. Hashing library Python. Hashlib. Hashlib. Fifth reinstall hashlib. What the fuck? Wim test.py. Uh, import hashlib. Yeah, it works. Uh, I don't know what that is. That error thing. It's 
Oh, I didn't need to install it. Hashlab is a Python library. That's... <laughs> oh, I'm embarrassed right now. I'm gonna hide behind the microphone because I'm, I'm really embarrassed. M is equal to hashlab dot sha. Hello, mother. Maybe I can print that? Things are gonna yield the result. Okay. Huh. Oh, to test that. Wait, how do we get input in Python 3? Um, fuck you. Then we get an input, and then we test that against our, our hash. See if it fits. <coughs> That went in the wrong hole. That's what she said. <clears throat> Whatever. Um, we have a th test hash hash lab dot new um, hex output is equal to hex digest. I'm not sure if that's gonna work. What? That didn't give me any error. Wrong. Whoa. We got it. So um, this is the hash. SHA256 output for hello bitch and this is the um, hash output for hi so if we say hi again the hash output is exactly the same but if we say hi with a capital H it's gonna give us a totally different hash that is the beauty of hash if you change one little thing it's gonna change the whole hash lastly the program can only have the hash and not the hello bitch part so it doesn't have the important part it only has the hash and nobody can understand anything from the hash you can just test the hash against something else to see if it matches you can't you can't know what was the original me message that was turned into hash so oh um, I, I read about proof of stake and I think it's a much more complicated algorithm than I have time for. So, maybe we should go with a proof of work after all. Proof of work. Blocks are made in a CPU, but a CPU is really powerful, so it can generate a block or two or ten or ten thousand each second that is a lot of blocks and it can be confusing so if the cpu wants to lie it can lie a lot and it can disturb our blockchain system so i'm thinking since this is so easy for you to make a block we're gonna make it harder from now on we only accept a block if it comes out of your ass yeah that's that's gonna that's gonna stop you from producing a block like each millisecond. This is essentially how proof of work works. It makes you pay out of your ass if you want to produce a new block. So you're not gonna go around and produce new blocks for cheap. Okay, guys, I got caught up in YouTube. I was watching YouTube videos for the last two hours or something. It's not a big deal. It happens to the best of us. Uh, but I think I came up with a good block here. Like, okay. Well, what do you say I just fast forward the next three days and just show you the end result? Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's already. Don't, don't just, don't look at my face. It's a mess because I'm a programmer, and programmers look like this. Uh, let's test it out. So, this is my main blockchain program. I got rid of the networking and P2P stuff. I just copy and paste. Uh, information from one to the other by hand 
so I'm gonna put the first one on top I'm gonna open another one another node if you will and put it on the bottom so they don't have any blocks so to generate the first block I click generate and look at this look at this part when we click generate it starts to solve the proof of the work problem and after it solves it it gives us a JSON which we have to copy and paste into our other node so ideally we have a network that does this uh, transferring of the information but I didn't have time to it's just it's just a distraction I wanted to explore uh, blockchain and how it works so I got rid of the networking I and I do it by hand much easier right so uh, if you look at this information it has a pre-hash which is the hash of the last block of our uh, of our blockchain it's zero because it didn't have any blocks previously and this is the first block and it has a transaction which you can see actually on on the bottom of the first window as well uh, it's the list of the transactions in our blockchain and if you look at it it says percent the first note percent the second note percent the amount so that means node zero gave node zero a hundred coins where and, and this means we only have a hundred coins in our system this hash if this hash is correct if it matches with the other blocks the last blocks of our node we actually we can find out if this information is correct and it's not someone talking out of their ass it's not someone who's a liar so if we click process uh, our both of our nodes are on the same page right now so let's say uh, I want to add a transaction so I say zero gave node one um, 59 uh, let's say 69 69 coins so if I click on transact um, what? Zero gave one sixty nine. Yes, it works. Okay, it should have been working. Is it? I shouldn't be this happy, but I am. I don't know why. Okay, now we have another transaction appended at the end of the second note. And if we transfer this data that we got here to the first node. So here is the trick. If I change the hash over here, if I change that hash, like place a B instead of an A and hit process. This understands that we're lying because the hashes don't match and it prints out the entire ly lyrics of the song I love the way you lie by Rihanna and Eminem because because you're lying but if it is correct and you hit process it detects that it's cray it's it's correct and it adds adds <sighs> adds the block at the end of the blockchain so they both match that is magical that is how you can identify if a node is lying or not um if you like my video please like like and subscribe it really helps me a lot if you like and, and if you if you like and subscribe it if you like and subscribe, it'll help me a lot. And I, 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 uh, my audio album.
<laughs> no, you were crazy.